Shalom Aleichem, everybody. My name is Yudu Levy. Um, I just wanted to give a basic overview before we start the share. First of all, I'm not coming here to ask in anything, ask in any shayalas, or change anybody's mind or commit to anybody about anything. That's not my, my goal here. That's not my uh, point here. Our goal is to explore the sugya at hand. Is there a... Is there a basis for those that go up to higher bias today? Is there are they going? Are they working within the framework of halacha, or are they working connected the framework of halacha? Is there a mitzvah on them? Is it something that's motor to do? Is it something that should be done? We're going to explore all the different options, and we're going to just look at what the sugi says. We're not going to be coming here to paskin or to be mitzi las chaslechalila on anybody who does or doesn't. That's not the kivun. We're here to explore Torah, lahagdul Torah, and that is our that is our goal with this. So I'd like to say yeshkayef to Rav Nochi Shiner, and for Rav David Hayda, and for Rav Zilber, and for all those that were in, instrumental in bringing me here, and uh, I'd like to say a tremendous yeshkayef to them. Um, we're all assuming that people know a little bit about higher bias, but just in case we don't, let's go to a place where we can all agree that we all understand, we all know for the last thousands of years, we all had a yearning, a special yearning to go to the Kaisal Maravi and to dive in there. And as, as I'm sure I can, I'm can, i speaking for myself now, but everybody else here probably has the same, a similar feeling as soon as it compared to Cyril. One of the first places they want to stop and go to is the Kaisal. It doesn't matter if you're going Friday afternoon or Shabbos for Kabbalah Shabbos. It doesn't matter where you go. It's a, it's a central stop on everybody's list when they get to Eretz Yisrael, stop and daven at the Kaisal. And this p- image is iconic to all of us. No matter where we are, chances are, it doesn't matter where a person is living, they have some sort of similar picture to this one here hanging somewhere in their house. It's something that's so ingrained in us from a young age that that is the holiest place in the world. But is it really? As we see, we know that this is the Kaisal. But is this the whole Kaisal? Does it go farther? Is this the only place to dive in? Here we have an overview of the entire Mokam Amidosh. And as you see, the wall extends in all directions. And it's the same type of stones of the Kaisal. So what is specifically unique to the area that we, that we say and we, uh, that we dive in? Is there something unique? What about the southern wall? What about the eastern wall? What about the northern wall? Is that also special to dive in? Is that something we should, uh, we should aim, to, aim to go and aim to dive in at? So let us explore exactly why this place is special and why this is something unique for us to dive in at. Okay. The reason why Mokama Migdash is special to us is because Chazal tells us that when HaKadosh Baruch created the world, he created the world from the Evan Shasia. The first thing he created was the Evan Shasia, a special stone, and that was located at the center of the universe, and from there, everything else was brought out. The Mokkam Hamikdash. So it's known as the Lave of the world. Alev Shel Haona. The Gemara in the Smachis is also Gemara in Yuma. I'm not sure what just happened there. Apologize. Difficulties. All right. Says the Gemara Masechet Smachas, from it, the world, um, the world was founded. From there, from this Evan Shasia was the place that Hakadosh Baruch Hu chose to create the world. This is the first thing that He created. We have the Rambam in Perik Be'ez uh, in Beis Abachira. He explains in, in Halacha Beis, when Messiahs began a call, it's our a tradition in the hands of everyone. Shahamokim Shabbonu by David Shlema, on his Beach Begarian Aravna, that the place where David and Shlema built the base on Mikdash, on this threshing floor of Aravna, is Shahamokim Shabbonu by Avram, on his Beach Vokadol of Yitzchak, is the place of Akedis Yitzchak, it's this specific place. Not only that, it's the exact same place that Noyach, when he came out of Tebe, he traveled all the way from Har Ararat, all the way to Har Maria, specifically to this specific place to build the Mizbeach, to bring the carbon, to thank our Kaddish Baruch for saving him and his family. Not only that, 
It was Mizbeach, the kind in Hevel, brought their carbonus when they had their feud of which way was to bring the car- which way was the better way to bring carbon. Was it to bring from plants or from animals? Sacrifices. Uboy Hikr of Adam Arishan carbon Kishanivra Umisham Nivra. Not only did Adam Arishan make build, bring a carbon at this place, but he was created specifically from this place, as Hazal Talas, Amru Khachamim, Adam, Mimkoim Kaparase Nivra. Kaddish Baruch Hu created Adam specifically in the place where he was going to be able to get Kapara from. So we see from Bria Sa'elam until the Beis HaMikdash, we have a Messiah in the hands of everybody, says the Rambam, that this is a special place, Miuchad, set aside for Avedis Hashem. Also, when Yaakov Avinu was running away from, from his brother Esau, and he's on his way to Haran, he stopped, and he, and he, and he, and he uh, stopped to Davin at Makam HaMikdash, and he fell asleep there. And when he woke, he went, uh, while he was sleeping, he saw a dream of a ladder going up and Malachim going up and down. And he woke, and it said, the Pasuk tells, Vayikat Yaakov Mishinosa, Vayoyim, Yaakov awoke from his sleep, Vayoyim, and he said, Achein yesh Hashem b'mokam hazed. Is it possible that HaKadosh Baruch was in this place of Anachi lo yodati, and I did not know? Meaning, I didn't realize how powerful this place is. That I slept here. Vayiro, Vayoymer, with, with great awe and fear, he said, How awesome is this place? This is the place of Hashem, this is the house of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This is the gateway to heaven. Says the Mepharshim, the Ebenezer says, the Ebenezer says, Ki in Beis HaLekim, She yispalo odnam boi v'shas tzarkoi, but v'sishma tfiloso ki amokam nebchar. This is a special place, miyuchad per tfilo. The the Pirkei Der Beleza takes it further. Hishkim Yaakov v'pachad gadol. Yaakov awoke with a great pacha, a great fear. V'oymer and he said, "Beis Hashal Hakadosh Baruch Hu b'mokam azeh." This is the house of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shenemar vayhiro vayomer manoyer amokam azeh. Mikana talamid. From here we learn famous song from Jew Boys Choir. Shekolam espalel b'mkoim azeh b'yushalayim ki ilu espalel if neki se akavoy. A person who davens specifically at this makom, it's as if he's davening in the makom in, in front of the kisei hakavod. Sheshar hashemayim shamu. It's the gateway to shemayim. Upesach pesuach l'shemer tefila, and the, the the door is always open to listen to tefilas. Shenemar v'zeh shar hashemayim. So, in order for us to, to take this to the next level, as we said, we saw that there's a messiah from Bria Sa'elam told Beis Hamikdash that this was the specific place. In order for us to really appreciate what it means to daven in Makam HaMikdash, we have to understand what the Beis HaMikdash was. And we're going to go through very quickly here, because we don't have a lot of time. But the Beis HaMikdash, of course, was the Makam HaShchina, as we see. It says in the Pasuk, V'hayyayani v'libi sham kalayamim, I will always be there, the Shechina will always be there. It was the place of Aliyah the Radgal. It was the place of Taira. Now, we, we seem to have this idea that if a person wanted, uh, you know, needed a carbon or something, he had a, he made a mistake, he needed to bring a carbon, so he would go to the Beis HaMikdash. But if you wanted to learn, he would go to Mir Yeshiva or down the block to Bris, depending on his affiliation. But Chazal tell us, no. Ki mitziyayin teitzei Taira, Udvar Hashem Yerushalayim. Specifically from Tzien was the seed of Taira. The place that Taira came out was from the Beis HaMikdash. Says the Mishnayis and the Gemara, and the Gemara and Tana says, My Har HaMariah, why was it called Har HaMariah? Har, she yotza mimenu herol Yisrael. It was the Har, it was the mountain that the law came out for Kal Yisrael. The mission in Sanhedrin says, So it was not just the central place where we, where the Shechina always resided, it was also the place of Torah. When Kala Yisrael needed Chizuk and needed a, play, a way to get themselves closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, where did they go? Says Chazal, they came to the Beis HaMikdosh. The, the, the story in Tanakh, with Yehoyosh, the people forgotten the Torah, and they gathered all the Kali, all of Kaiso, Chizkiyo, gathered all of Kaiso together to the base of English, and there they were strengthening themselves in the uh, Kabbal Omach Shemayim and retaking upon themselves the, 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 the Torah. It was the place of Chesed. There was no Kupar Eir or Vadar Abonim. You wanted, you needed Chesed, you needed things. Where did you go? Says the mission in Shkalim. There were two kupak, there were two boxes in the mikdash. There was a place where people, wealthy people would stick their money inside, and any poor person would come in and be able to take whenever they needed. So it's not just uh, the, we're just seeing we're continuing on the theme for those who just walked in of not only do we have the Messiah from Bria Sa'ilam till now, 
that the Beis HaMikdash was a special place for Avodah, but it was also the central place. It wasn't like there were a few places there in Kai, so you needed Terry, you went here, you needed Gminas Hasad, you went there. Everything was in the Beis HaMikdash. It was the Makam of Karbanas, it was the Makam of the Avodah. There is no other place that one is allowed to bring a Karban except for Beis HaMikdash. Which is interesting if you think about it, because why does HaKadosh Baruch need to limit himself to one place in the world? He should be able to serve him anywhere. He could serve him from here. He should be able to serve him from California. We should serve him uh, wherever you want. England, Australia. Why did our Baruch Hu say, no, I specifically want to be served at this specific place. It's specifically the place that I've chosen, as we saw, because it was the place where everything started from. It was the place of that it has to be specifically, says the Pasuk, Yishamach, uh, warns us, Only in that place can it be done, nowhere else. But more than anything else, the Mokum HaMikdash was a place of two. When, when Shlema HaMelech built Beis HaMikdash, he offered up a special tefillah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, asking him that anything and everything, that all tefillahs, doesn't matter from a Jew, non-Jew, where you are in the world, all tefillahs should be centered to this location and go up from here, as they saw by Yaakov Avinu, Zeshar HaShemayim, this is the special place, the Kilis follows Miki Se'akavay, Shalem continues that and asks that always this base Hamigla should be a place of tefillah. And the Tzukim continue called Tefillah, called Tchina, Shetiel, Chol Odom. Any sort of need that a person has, any sort of prayer, any supplication that a person should, should offer up. L'chol Amcha Yisrael Asher Yidu and Ish Nega Levavoy. Ufor as Kapo Velabai says that a person would turn their face to this house. V'ata Tishma HaShemayim, M'choyn Shiftecha, V'salachta V'el Sisa. V'man Yidu and Kol Ami Ha'aretz HaShemecha V'yiro Yisach. Ka'amcha Yisrael V'odas, Ki Shimcha Mikra Alabai says that Asher Banisi. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu answers this tefillah, and then HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Vayim HaShem, Elov Shamati es tefilosecho, ves tchinosecho, asher ischananti l'konai, hikdashi es abay ezezeh, I make this, this place holy, asher bonisi, that you built, l'shum shimi shom ad elom, to reside there forever, v'hayi eini v'libi shom kalayam, in my eyes, and my heart will always be in this place. So no matter what, even after the Chorban, even, even uh, when Vez Hashem and Vez Hashem will be rebuilt again, this place is Milchad for Tefillah, it doesn't matter when or where. This is continued by the Mishnah in the Sefta Smachis. Shem Yitchilo Leibon Shlema Abayis El Al Tanai. Shlema Abayis built the base on English only with the following condition. She called me, she is Leitzaro, anybody who has any sort of pain, Yoba Vyispal Leil, will come and daven at this place. As we saw in the Tefillah of Shalom HaMelech. Maybe this is only for a, a person. If there's a need for the Tzibar, how do we know that, that they all should, should go to the Tzibar? How do we know that a non-Jew should, will also be able to come to the Tzibar? How do we know that will also be able to come to the Tzibar? Also a Gentile who is not from the Tzibar. Also a Gentile who is also a Gentile who is not from the Tzibar. A person asks, um, a, a wants, a, wants to have children, or he needs, a, he needs a, a, you know, a new car or a new house, he needs some sort of uh, need, what should he do? It doesn't matter. Even the smallest thing to the largest thing a person wants to daven, the place to daven, is Malkam HaMikdash. We know that wherever we are in the world, we we direct our tefillahs to the Makam HaMikdash. Says the Gemara in Brachas, Haya Oymed V'chotz Laaretz, Yichav and Esli B'Kenegar Eretz Yisrael. Shinem Eves Ba'alti Elav Derech Artsam. Haya Oymed B'Eretz Yisrael. Someone standing in Eretz Yisrael, Yichav and Esli B'Kenegar Yerushalayim. He points his tefillah in the direction of Yerushalayim. Shinem Eves Ba'alu Al Hashem Derech Lo'ir Asher B'Chayrto. Haya Oymed B'Yerushalayim. Someone standing in Yerushalayim, Yichav and Esli B'Kenegar Beis HaMikdash. Shinem Eves Ba'alu Al Abayis Hazet. Even after the Chorban, the Kedusha still remains on the Harabai. It says the Rambam, even though the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed due to our sins, a person has a Chiv to treat it with respect, just as they, they treated it when they were in the time of the, it, it was built. A person is only allowed to enter in the ears that they're allowed to enter. A person is not allowed to sit in the Azarel. A person cannot have Kalos Roish. 
the, when facing the the Shara Mizrach Shenemar Es Shab Soi Soi Tishmoiru Mikdashitiro Mashmir Shabbos Lo'elam Mashmir Shabbos Lo'elam Achmir Mikdash Lo'elam Just as Shmir Shabbos we still keep Shabbos today with all the halachas and all the chumras So to Mashmir Mikdash is Lo'elam Sha'av Al Pishacharayv even though it was destroyed, it retains its kedusha. It still stands in its, in its holiness, and we have to treat it as such. Continues the Rambam. The Lama and the Eimer b'Mikdash Yerushalayim kedusha Yerushalayim kitchel also lovely. That when they were when they consecrated the, the, the place of the base of Mikdash, it, it, it retains its kedusha for the rest of the, uh, for all time. The fish kedusha is Hamikdash Yerushalayim of Nei The reason why. The Beis Hamikdash is holy, is due to the fact that the Shechina resides there. Ushchina ain't a bottle, the Shechina never leaves. Varei Oimer Vashimoy says Mikdashechem, Vamu Chachomim, Avo Pisha Shemim, Pikdushal Sanhim Andi. Even though the temple lays in, in ruins, the Kedusha still stands there. And we know that even though there are those that argue on the Shita, the Rabbi, namely the Mishabura, the Magen Avram, they all pass the Melachas like the Rambam, and today we have to treat the Beis Hamikdash. As it's it's stated in, in holiness, the Medrash tells us as well. Omer Rabbi Lazer, Ben Shechar, Beis Hamikdash, Ben Shloich Harav, In Ashkenaz Zos Mitaychay. The base uh, the Ashkenaz never leaves the place of the Mikdash. And Emer Hashem Beichal Kachay. Avo Bishah B'Shemayim Kisla. Even though Hakadosh Baruch Hu is sitting in Shemayim, Shechina said the Beis Hamikdash. The Shechina resides in the Beis Hamikdash. And Emer Bhaya Eni Belibi Shem Kalyamim. Vechinu Omer Vaya Neni Mehar Kachay Selo. Even though it's only in its status right now as a mountain, meaning there's no base on English there, it still retains its Kedusha. Even though it's destroyed, the Shechina still stands there. Very important three words that a lot of people don't know that are included in this Midrash. That the Kaisal, the Shekhinah never leaves the Kaisal Maravi of the Beis Hamikdash, not the Harabais, as people like to assume today. Shenemer Hini Zel Oymed Acher Kaisal. No, it would make sense that it's referring to that wall because that's the the western wall of the Beis Hamikdash was the wall closest to the Kedush Hakadoshim, and that was where the Shekhinah resided. Okay, so until this point, we've seen. Of course, it, it seems to be a mainstream uh, a mainstream opinion in all the Rishonim. And the Gemaras and the Midrashim, that ideally the place to David would be inside the Beis Hamikdash, inside the Harabayas, if we can get there. And that leads us to ask the question: Halachically, before we get into practically, halachically, is one allowed to go into the Beis Hamikdash? As we see, it still retains its kedusha. We still have to treat with the utmost respect. Is there a way to know what type of Thomas would be allowed in, out? Let's discuss it. And we know that when Kali still traveled in the Midbar, there were three, there were three Mahmas. Says Rashi in, in, in Parshas Masay, Shalish Machnes Hayisham B'Shas Chani Yotah Chani Islam. There were three Machnes when Kali Yisrael came from the Midbar. Teicha Kolayim He Machnes Shchina. Inside the inside the Mishkan was Machnes Shchina. Chani Yis Halavim Sabu Kamoishim Parsh Parshas The Midbar Sina He Machnes Leviyah. There was Machnes Leviyah. And we show him outside Machnes of the Golim and everywhere else outside the inside the Machnes of the Golim of the the camp of the flags. The whole Abra Ruches to each of the four the four directions He Machnes Yisrael. Um, so, if we would have this following graphic here, we would see, we would imagine Kali Yisrael uh, camping in the Midbar. Over here would be Machane Yisrael. There would be Machane Levi on the inside, where Kali Yisrael, where the Levian lived inside. And the place of the Mishkan would be Machane Shechina. Okay, very nice. What practical difference does it make? Says the Pasuk in Parshish Nasli, Tzadis B'nai Yisrael, command B'nai Yisrael, Vishalachu min HaMachanet, send out from the camp, Kol Tzeruah, anybody who's a Mitzayra, the Chol Zog, and anybody who's Tomei from a Tomei that comes out from their Gov, the Chol Tomei Lenofesh, and anybody who is Tomei Mitz. So the Pasuk gives us three categories, a category of Mitzayra, a category of a Zog, and a category of Tomei Mitz. Says Rashi, and it's really the Gemara of Sotim da Samach Zayim, Hatzerua Nishtal Chutzakul. A Mitzayro, I would have thought until this point that all Tumas have to be sent out of all camps. So says the Gemara, and Rashi is bringing it down mm -hmm. as well, that this is not true. The only place that, that, uh, that, I, that we're going to go that each camp has a different level of Tumas that's allowed in it, and subsequently not allowed in it. Hatzerua is Nishtal Chutzakul. Someone who has Taras is not allowed in any of the three camps, which would mean that he would not be allowed to stay in Machanei Yisrael, he would have to go outside Machanei Yisrael. Hazov, 
Mutter be machen yisrael, mashalach menashayim. So Zob is not allowed in machen ashchino and machen elavio, but is allowed in machen yisrael. And betami meis, betami lanochesh, mutter af b'shalavio is even allowed in machen elavio. Ve'in mashalach el mishal shchino is only sent out for machen ashchino. So with our map that we had before, in the gray, which is machen yisrael, a mitzvah is not allowed. In side the machen elavio, a zov is not allowed. And the only place that a tummy mace is not allowed is in Machin Eshchina. This was not just in the Midbar. It says the Gemara in Zvachim, the Chukot Tezayin on the base, Kishim Shemachin Eba Midbar, Kach Machin Eba Yerushalayim. Just as there, was a, there were camps in the Midbar, there was also camps in Yerushalayim. Mishalayim Laharabais, from Yerushalayim up to the Harabais, Machin Eshchol. Meharabais Lashar Niknor, from Harabais to the entrance of the Azaro, would be considered Machin Elavio. Mikan Ve'elech, Machin Eshchina. So this is very good. We can understand that there are three machines in Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim to the Harabais, Harabais to the Azara. The Azara is Machin I mean Machin Eshkino. And only there would a tummy mace not allowed to be. And someone who is impure to, to be touching a dead person or coming in contact with a dead person, only in that area. <coughs> very nice, you said. But how can we pinpoint exactly where the Beis HaMilish stood on Harabais? If we would be able to pinpoint where the Beis HaMilish stood, we had a starting point. As I'm assuming most of us just recently learned the Shnayis Midas and Sefas Talmud when we were doing Daf Yomi. So we know that there are, there's a layout of the Beis HaMikdash, but we need a starting point. We need a, a place to be able to pinpoint with, with definite accuracy that this is the place where something in the Beis HaMikdash stood, and then we potentially would be able to take Mishnayis Midas and figure out, with the larger share of the Amma, if we want to be Machmer, to figure out exactly where things are, to know potentially where Machen El ends and where Machen El starts. Without that, we would not be able to do anything. We'd have to assume that everything is a suffix cars. Because as we know, Machin Ashkina, it's cars for a is on inside. Can we have, can we pinpoint a specific location in Harabais? Well, let's take a look at the Messer that we have for specifically this question. After the Beisam English was destroyed, says the Medrash, Ahopi Shachar, Beisam English, like Botlu, Pame, Raglayim, Gimopan, Mashan. They did not stop Ali al Rego. So we see, based on English, was destroyed. We see from this message, they still went up to Harabais during the three Yom Taivun, and they did that specifically to keep the, to keep the to keep the mitzvah of Ali the Rega. So we can see that even after based on English, they people were still going there and still knowing, assumingly, uh, you know, presuming that they knew exactly where they were going, where the Makom Mazara stood, because they were just there a few minutes ago while they were still while still standing. The Gemara tells us. In Makis, the Kavar Hoyer of Gamliel, Rabbi Lezab, Ben Azai, Rabbi Shub, Rabbi Akiva, Shub Pam Achas Hoyo Eil in Yerushalayim, Kivan Sheikhila Harat Soifim, Karbid Dain. Once they came to Harat Soifim, they ripped their clothing, like the Allah says. Kivan Sheikhim La Harabayis, once they came onto Harabayis, Rabbi Shul Shiyotsimi based Kadesh Akadashim. They saw a fox leaving the place of Kadesh Akadashim, which means that they obviously came pretty close into the Harabayis, potentially up to even the Malcolm of Kadesh Akadashim. The other Tanaim started to cry when they saw this terrible sight of a fox running around. And Rabbi Kiva was laughing. However, Rabbi Kiva was laughing. So yet here we see another Makar, the people that, that people were going on to Harabais after the Chorban. And presumably knowing, as it says, they saw a shul coming out from the face of the Shagadoshim, they knew exactly where it was. Much later in time, we see from the Yishalmi and Psachim, Rabbi Yechonim ben Medai, Bishim Yerpinavos, the Rabbi says in the name we witness the Rabbanon taking off their shoes when they enter onto Harabais. Al Maida are entering on Harabais. There's a halacha that one is not allowed to go on Harabais with shoes, as the Karban Nisano explains. So we see that even after, well after the Korban, this is probably three, four hundred years after the Korban, that in Tukuba Samarayim, that they're still going into Harabais. In the Tkupas HaGa'inim, right around the year 6, 690 or so, the completion of the building of the Dome of Iraq happened. Until that point, they knew exactly where things were, but they never had a monument. The Megillah Samagal, written by one of the early Rishayim, potentially, was, uh, he was either in Goyin or Rishayim, it's unclear. But Rambam Rechiyan Asi writes the following in his essay for Megillah Samagal. The Arab king treated Kaisal with respect, he, he gave them favors. 
and he allowed Yisrael to return to Harabais, the Livnois by Beis Tvila, and he built for them a shul on Har on Harabais, a midrash, and a place for them to learn. And daven inside the shul. And they set up tefillahs kineged tmidum musafim in the place of the tmidum musafim. From the, the late 600s until at shepasha el abayis ba'is azayis malchus edom harisha until the year 1099 when the first crusader showed up. They seriously malchus malchus yishmal melav and they kicked off the umayyads from the harabayis. And from the, that point forward, the crusaders, um, the, the, the crusaders desecrated the mikdash that was turned into a base field of them. They put um, idols inside it. And they stopped allowing Kaisal to go up there to Davin. From the day that those evil people came in, there wasn't even a single Jew allowed to remain in Yerushalayim at the time. And we know the Crusaders were not, you know, good fans of Kali Yisrael. Here I have it in English if anybody wants to read it. <coughs> All right, let's move on. Also, in the Kranke Yudas, in the, in the Cairo Geniza, there was there found a, a collection of writings, also from the Tkufos, this is from the 10th century, and he writes a similar, a similar thing. The Omar, Omar, the name of the king of the, of the Umayyads, he asked specifically the leaders of, the, of Bnei Yisrael in, in, re, in regard to the, to the Salah, meaning this specific stone, Halaihu Eben Shasia, is it not the Eben Shasia? Specifically on the Makam of the Eben Shasia was built the Dome of the Rock. It's quoted, it's quoted in, uh, openly that it was this dome that was, coated, that was covered in, in gold. This Messiah, this tradition that was passed down was, was held by the Ramam as the Ramam writes, we went out from Akko and we came up to Yerushalayim under Sakana, because it was the time that was uh, still under the Crusades. And we, uh, went into the great and holy house, referring to Harabais. Obviously, the Ram did not go into the actual Makom Kedesh Hakadoshim, but he went into the. Uh, assuming he went into the. Sh- if there was a shul stall there, we don't know. Um, he definitely went on to Harabais and he died in there. And here we have it in his own handwriting. This is a, a picture of Ksav Yad from the Rambam. One of the Bali Tesis, who is the brother of the Riyal Ovan, he writes as follows. The Holocaust of Yerushalayim. And we went up to Yerushalayim, the Ein Shom El Rabbi Rom Atzeva. There was only Rabbi Rom, the painter. He paid off the king to allow, to, uh, you know, to, he paid him off with a lot of taxes to allow him to stay there. The Heichel No, in the beautiful building, Shom Shabon of Melech Yishmaelim, that the king of Yishmaelim had built, he made Kedem in the days previously, Kishalaisa Yishmaelim, Giyad Yishmaelim, when Yishmaelim was in the hands of Yishmaelim. Ubo Pritz and Belshinu Lamelech Yishmaelim, Ba'amru. The king pushed until he found exactly where that place was. The king was, uh, he, he liked the Yidin. And he said, I want to build a beautiful hall. And nobody should pray in it, king of Yehudim, except for the Jews. And he built the Dome of the Rock. Beautiful, beautiful building. Specifically over the place of the Makam Amigdash, of, of the Makam Kedesh Akadashim, of the Evan Shasia. This continues with Talmud of the Ramban. He, he writes, Al Evan Shasia, Bonu Malchi Ishmael, and Binyan before Malay, a beautiful building. Also, I said, they feel he made it into a shul. Ubonu Lamailam and Abinyan keep on Malay, then on top of the building, he built a beautiful dome. The Abinyan al base Kedesh Akadashim al Hechel. This building was built on top of the base of Kedesh Akadashim and the Hechel. So there's two, there's two sheetahs if it was built for a shul or for a mask? 
Well, it's definitely, was, it, seems, it seems from the writings here that it was built as a shul. But before we saw it was built as a mosque. No, it was never built as a mosque. It was oh. built as a monument on top. It's still today, it's not a mosque. Ah. It's, it's, it's considered a monument. In, in, uh, in mosque Arabic, a mosque is, uh, is a mosque, and it's called in Arabic, Kuba, which means Kuba monument shows. or dome. How could they go that far? It's a great question. The Rishonim just uh, debate whether or not they held like the Ravid or not. I mean, Eri seems to say that they held like the Ravid. That Which is what the Ravid that what? Auto, the Ravid the Ravid held that they're like Kitchel Asalave, and therefore the even though the the Shein is still on Harabayis, but it doesn't have the status of Kadosh Hashem, and therefore they would be allowed to adopt inside. Mentioned the Mishnah Brura the same thing with the Ravid I mentioned Mishnah Brura that holds that not like that. The, the, nowadays, we're not gonna we're not gonna go into those areas of chalal. Assuming that you can even go on Harabayis. One should not go into those areas for sure, because nobody's going to stick their head between the Machlekes, Reb, and Rambam. The, the Rambam says clearly, the Magen Avram, the Mishabur, all pass in very clearly, the Allah is like the Rambam, it has the Kedusha of the Kedusha of the today, one should stay far, one should not go into those areas, assuming, let's first build up the case, but assuming that we can pinpoint and know exactly where things were, then it would be that way. The Meiri, I mentioned, the Meiri held, the Meiri says clearly, I'm going to quote the Meiri in a few minutes. Okay. Says the Igeras of Ravavad Mibar Tenuro. One of the late Rishayim, early Achrayim. Gam chukarti al evish siya shal orin hayim munach al We know that in, in the late 1500s, the Rav Avadim Yibatinur came to Israel. He wrote a whole sefer about all the different places he went to in Tzfas, and he came to uh, to Yerushalayim. And he writes, Gam chukarti al evish siya shal orin hayim munach al el. The Rabbim Oimrim ki hu tachas kibo achas gavoya biyofno asher bonu yishmeilim b'mitosh v'yisaguru techa kibo shigedel himalei v'ish lo yovish sham haynu el mokom evish siya. Yet another Maramokan, that's a place that the Dome of the Rock was built on top of the Kedush HaKadosh. The Radvas, a rov that lived in Yerushalayim, was asked the question, is it possible to go to Harabais with Zmaninu? And the Radvas writes without, uh, very clearly, Ki Adover Bar, the starting point of the Shiloh, without any question, the tradition that we have, that the Evan Shasi is inside the Dome of the Rock, is unquestionable. He writes, Ki Adover Bar, it's clear beyond doubt. Shetachas Akiva, underneath the Dome of the Rock, Shom Eben Ashesia, there is the Eben Ashesia, Belize Sopik, without any doubt, Hanikra Etzlam Al Sachra. It's called in Arabic Al Sachra, it's still today. If you ever go there to sell and ask your taxi driver, you want to show up that you know a little Arabic, say, you know, where's Al Sachra? And they'll laugh and they'll, they'll point you to the Dome of the Rock. I had seen a Machlokas, but that's not the um, Eben Ashesia, that's where the Makam Hamas Bayak was. Very good. The Shulman Goran has a theory like that. In the end of his life, he recanted on that. Is that true, really? Yes. Well, it's hard to say because it seems to be very clear from all these Maram that we're going to until this point that the, that is the Mokim Lekhez Shagadoshim. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason why Rav Goran had a suffix was because under inside this dome of the rock, underneath it, there's a cave. And he assumed that there wouldn't be a cave underneath the, the bedrock of the, of the mountain. Mm-hmm. But afterwards, for many other writers, he... He recanted his position and he held that it was back. Ain't Sophic, and these are a bass. Ain't Sophic, he ever has like such a tachas a keepa. How you ever as you see, I shall allow how you are in the base cut the shagadoshim. And the following place in Paskin, like this, Allah for the mice, the bath, the shared chuba, the big fierce, the bath, the shulk on the hobbits, and many others. Therefore, continues the red bass in the chuba. Yeesh was this calm. That they would go up to base of the Harabais, Lyris Misham Harabais Kulit, to see the entire Harabais, She in the Pesa, the Loyal Kafia Shishu Kafati, Hilk of Mutter Leskai, Achab Sotim, the Lalis El Alis. It is permitted for one to go on to Harabais, to the areas that we know, and get close to the doors and go up to the, the heights. The Marit. Paskin this as well. Mutter the Konishom Kishativo, person goes to the mikvah, lift name Baharabais, inside of Harabais, Bakai Shir Zochini Hashem, Lalis, the Lur Shem is Pinay Hashem. Just as I personally was able to do, says the Chido, quoting the, uh, quoting the uh, I'm sorry, the, the Marit was quoted by Rakhaim of Hadri, um, the Chido writes himself in Birki Yosef, Mutter the Iskari, the Piskei based Hamikdosh, the Likonis, Lalis, the Shesavi based Hamikdosh. It's Mutter to get inside to the doors of the base of Hamikdosh, which is on ta- which is obviously going into Harabais. The Shlo, when he moved in, in 1621, he moved to Eretz Yisrael and he resided in Yerushalayim. The Talmud Arizal wrote him a letter asking him how is it possible. Um, and it's impossible to uh, to move there. It was written specifically by Rabbi Shmuel ben Rabbi Shmuel Paivish, who is the Abbas in Krakow, but he's also the Talmud of Arizal. 
And he wrote and asked me, how is it possible for you to live in Yerushalayim? It's a Suffolk Horus. You don't know where the Mesa English stood. So the Shalom writes back very, very sharply. He writes, Da, no. There was never a doubt in the place of the Beisam English. And that there will eventually be a base of English. It's this specific place. It has not been removed from our from our sight even for one second. Even though Yerushalayim passed its hands through the different different rulers, it's, not, it's never been removed from us the Kabbalah and the idea. Mishmul Horovitz, one of the leaders of the of the Brasil community in Eretz Yisrael, in the year 1921, writes, I got up early and went to the mikvah. We went up to, to be Lalis the Regal to Harabayas, Ad Lamokam Amigdash, up to the point of where the base of English stood on Harabayas, Ad Hamokam Shemutu Lutme Mesim Lelechoi, until the place that, that it was allowed for people to go into. This is just a screenshot of this, the actual safer he adds over there. Okay, so it seems very clear to us at this point that there's a very solid Messiah from the Chorim Bayashini up until to up until right before uh, right before the, the state of the state of Israel that uh, that there we know exactly where the Makam English was and specifically that the Makam Kodesh Hakadosh is inside the building known as the Dome of the Rock. It's very clear to us this this Nakuda. So stating as such, we have Mishnah Esmidas as we mentioned before, and Baruch Hashem, I'm assuming a lot of you have, have recently completed it. Mazel Tov. Um, we know exactly the layout of the base of English. The Mishnah tells us how Baisa, Chamesh Meisam, Chamesh Meisam, Ruvim Min Adarim, Shan Esheni Loi Min Mizrak, Shlishi Loi Min Hatzalpin, Motam Min Amayir, etc., etc. All the Mishnahs tell us exactly how many steps you have to go in from the from the Shar Mizrak up to the Zesnashim, up to the, uh, the 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 steps where the fifteen Shar Malas were, the, the Shar Niknar, and from there inside the Ezus Yisrael, and then up a few steps to Ezus Kainim, and then from there to the Hechel, up a few up tall steps into the Hechel, and then you had Binyan Hechel, which was the Ulam, and then the Kodesh, and then the Kodesh HaKadosh. Using this Yorim, if we were to look at an overview of Harabayis, and we would zoom in, we would start knowing exactly where to pinpoint this location. This would be the, the Hordus extension, the blue line is the Hordus extension of Harabayis, which is larger than 500 Amas by 500 Amas. And then, using the Dome of the Rock as specifically the Mokom of the Kodesh HaKadoshim and using the Mishnah Yismitis to know exactly how it's laid out, um, using the Yushalmi and Erevin that tells us that the base of English uh, faced into the Ruchas Elam, so that when the sun would rise, it would rise directly into the door. Um, also, lining it up exactly with the Mokom of the Parah Adumo. As you know, you look out of the, the door of the Hechel, you'll be able to see Anhar Zaysin, the place where Parah Adumo was with the Makrib. We'll be able to know and figure out exactly where the base of English stood on Harabais. Using, as I mentioned, Messiah. Not only that, but the layout, the topography of the mountain does not allow this the base of English should be anywhere else on the Harabais. It can't be to the left, it can't be to the right. Because as we mentioned, the Mishnahis told us that there were steps that, that led up to it. There was a very specific amount of steps that would go up. And the highest part of the mountain was the peak, was the place of the Mishasiya. And the the, right after the Dome of the Rock, right after here, I'm just going to turn on a little, little laser pointer. Right over here, it doesn't freeze, which it is. Okay, uh, I'm going to show it, uh, uh, attempt to show it like this. Right over here, slightly down, the whole mountain starts to slow down. I should have included a slide of it, um, but I, I should have included a slide. Of, of the of the layout of the mountain, but I didn't think to do that until right now. So that's the the next time we give a share. Right over here would be the, the, the mountain slopes down, 
And the slope of the mountain goes sort of like there. I'm told here is the center of the, of the mountain, slope, sloping coming up. The kids are, there would be no way for the topography of the mountain to lend itself to allow the base of English to be anywhere else other than where the Messiah is, which well, is specifically well, over here. not on the highest point, a little bit. was shifted a little bit from the highest point. What? The Kiddush was not on the highest point. It was shifted a little bit from the highest point. Well, the base of the, 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 the peak of the mountain was the Amishasiyah. Very clearly, the peak of the mountain is Amish Asiya. And that would have to be inside the base of Kaddish HaKadosh, which we know that the Arn HaKadosh sat on the Amish Asiya. Two questions. Yes. One, the Mesech Esporet says that under the Mikdash, there was empty, there was caves. Yes. It came from Kerat Hum. Yes. So that would mean that under the Kaddish HaKadosh, there should not be you should be able to see with the ultrasound whether that's the case or not. Mm -hmm. And second, I read some place, I don't know if it was in Josephus or wherever, mm -hmm. that uh, Adrian took one third of the mountain down. Okay. If that's the case, you should not be able to see it from the Mizrach, from, from the Torah, to the uh, through the all the gate anymore. Yeah. Well, the answer is that, first of all, the mountain is still there. And you can actually see with your own eyes. Um, I think either it's higher because of all the dust over the thousand years, or if it was okay. taken down, then some of this measurement might not work out. <coughs> and then there's the issue with Promisaka's forest. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which okay. third, fourth, I don't know. I hear, I hear your question. I don't know the answer to Misaka's to Um regarding, regarding the layer of the mountain, the, the, I'm, I'm no archaeologist, but those that are have uh, written extensively about it. Over the years, yeah. it's worn out. Or something. But that's why mm -hmm. the tunnels are under the ground now. Well, there, there are, defi there are definitely tunnels under the ground. And there are definitely caves in, in Harabais right. that uh, you can, you can read all about it in the book called Quest if you're interested. One way or not. Either yeah. it was but regardless, or it was yeah. raised by okay. okay, it's possible. Regardless, we have a Messiah that's it there, and it right. seems to match up with the topography yeah. of the mountain today. Okay. 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 Assuming as such, one second, I just want to uh, get out of that. Okay. Using the the Mishnayis that we that we uh, I'm sorry, us, using the Gemara that we used before, which says that just says there are machinists in the mid, but there are machinists in Yushalayim, we would now be able to pinpoint exactly where the machinists are. As we mentioned, from Yushalayim Mahar Bayis is Machine is Machine Israel. The Harabayas itself is Machine Lavia. And Mikan Vela from Shar Nikner onward is Machan Eshkina. I see that you included the, the uh, hordes of succession yes. as part of the Machan. Yes, that is a big Machan as we shine him, but Baruch Hashem, we have Tommy the Chacham here. Um, usually, it seems to be that most places hold that the, uh, the, the extension is not, does not have a Kedusha of Harabais, although there are some that hold that. Um, but does it have, but is it Machan Yisrael then? If it's not Machan Yisrael, it would be Machan Yisrael. Yes. Uh, why is it of center? Why is what off center? The the the, the base of Mikdash or the higher base? Yeah, why isn't it facing exactly Mizrach tomorrow? Oh, because the, um, as I mentioned before, the Shalim Aaron says it has to be lined up with the Ruach no, That when the sun rises, it'll go. That's the opposite. Why the the, the, the mountain is not? Why Harabai is not? Same way with Mikdash. Why was it built this way? Because why is it the wall part of Oh. Yeah, because this is where it is. You have a mountain. You need to build. You have a you have a point peak of a mountain. One second. You have a peak of a mountain, and you need to build a building. So you build up a retaining wall, where it was convenient to build a retaining wall. Okay, but why isn't and it directly from Mizrach to Mara? Why is it a little bit to the? But based on English, meaning this this part. Yeah, why is it? Why is it this, sideways? This is exactly Mizrach to Mara. The rest of the higher is off. This is exactly the thing. So the sun rises, it goes directly through into the into the door. That's Ruka Sail. It doesn't show it like it shows it. Yeah, because it's slightly. I want to have the picture in the frame. That's why I have it. I want you to hold the whole thing. I can technically turn it slanted, but that's exactly where it is. As I, I forgot to mention, in regard, in reference to this whole thing, you can actually see the kaisel, how small it is in comparative to the rest of our bikes. We have uh, all these pictures of hundreds of thousands of yidden davening, um, davening uh, slichas on, uh, you know, with the filling up this whole area there. Imagine how many more you didn't be able to fit on, assuming that we could go down our base. We haven't gotten to the, that point yet. The Gemara tells us 
Therefore, therefore, based on this on this Nakuda, we have the Rambam. The Rambam passing like this halacha l'maisa in Hilchos Bias some English parak gimel halacha base and through a, through Dalit lefikach meshalchen is a metzayra chutz le gimel machanish shul chutz le yushalayim. We send out a metzayra outside of of yushalayim, which is uh, which is outside of three machanis. Meshalchen zavim bezodais nidas v'yeladais chutz l'shnei machanis. We send out anybody with the tumma that comes out from the kuf outside of harabayis. The drush is that it was inside into Machan el So, just using the math that we had before again, Machan Yisro would be also for Metzayro, Machan el would be also for a Sovim Baal Keri, with the Chiv of Malchus, as, we, as the Gemara Pesachim says clearly. And the only area that there is a Chiv of Kares, is inside the blue line, inside the red, which is Mach Mashina Daraisa, which is also for Tom and Mace, for the Chiv Karis. There's Machlaikis, as uh, I'm just going to mention for you, there's Machlaikis if the rest of the Chayal is included in ma- the status of Mach Mashina today, there are Advas um, that, that it was not, and therefore you would hold it, a person would be allowed to go anywhere on Harabais with the exception of inside the blue line. However, other Rishayim uh, other, other and Pasch and the to include the area of the chel. The area of the chel was added to status of machmashin at the end of Vayis Rishon. Okay, so a person is tummy. A zav needs a mayim chayim to get rid of his tumma. A zava yeledis needs a malkeri. Any other of the tumma that yosim in guf needs a kosher mikvah in order to remove that status. And as long as a, as a person does not have that status, would be kosher to go into machin Therefore, this is what parzim must look like. In case you're interested, let's see. Come. Bottom line, according to what we learned in the sugya up until this point, we do not have a far far today, and therefore a salt needs a power to No, a salt does not need a power though. A salt needs my chayim. As opposed to mikra. Right. What's the difference? Flowing water. Okay. Ain't no far para. We don't have a far para today. Therefore, it is usher for anybody to go into machin eshkina. Midaraisa, that's the area of the Azar, as we showed inside that map before the blue, the, the blue line, with an Oynish of Karis, <coughs> Midarabonah. It's also to go in anywhere from inside the Chayel with an Oynish of Malchus. The rest of Harabayis will be motor for a Tommy Mace to go into. Azal, that went to a Mayim Chayim, went to flowing water, went to a spring. Azava, Anida, Yeladis, and Balkari, that was Taibo and Mikvah, will be motor to go into Machin al of Harabayis. So, therefore, those that hold, that are remoted to go on higher bias, their rationale is as follows. We know exactly where Machan Shechina is. We know exactly where to avoid. The only area where Machan Shechina could potentially be with the Chi of Karis would be on the elevated platform, which I'll show you is right over here, this whole area here. This is an elevated platform with steps going up. We'll see, we'll see soon in a video that will demonstrate. This whole area is, is elevated. The only area where there'd be a, a chiv karis would be potentially on this in this area. As such, they have set up a specific route that I'll show you in a second that avoids that, that avoids going anywhere near, near these areas. Also, they have people stand, sitting at the entrance of Harabais warning people that they cannot go into well, the areas that should not go to. They're not allowed to go up on, onto these onto the elevated platform. They offer free tours. The person going up, the tourist going up, wants the tour. It's free. And the reason that those tours exist was specifically to make sure that people do not go to Mekayim Basa And... Well, one would still have to go to Mekayim. Yeah, obviously. There are actually no of a story very recently where a Fry policewoman asked the tours about to go up to Harabais if they went to the Mekayim. Really? What, and the, I, I'm not sure if the irony was lost on her, apparently not, but... Um, <laughs> the, that, that, would, that would be the rationale for those saying that it would be motor to go, it would be based on this. This was the route... Instead of the Achi of Malthus, not Karis. Right, right, not Karis. This, this over here, this Arab white line... Shemesh? What? Do you need Harab Shemesh also? You do not need Harab Shemesh unless you're going to the Azar. As we mentioned, we do not go into the Azar today because we pass on like the Rambam, mm-hmm. and there would be Achi of Karis to go into the Azar. Well, why aren't the walls of the, the inner Harabais aligned together with the... Um, because the inner higher bias was, was built specifically on the on the peak of the mountain, where it was convenient for it to be built. Mm-hmm. It was always like this. This higher ba- this line of the original Chamesh Menisama was built like this. We actually can see that the Mizrach wall is still there today from from Bayis So we can line it up exactly. 
This is the kibun that it was built. I don't know why Shlomo Melch decided to build it this way specifically, but Acha, that's how he built it. Right? Practically, yeah. I'm saying that's right. There practically, is, but there is the remnant of a wall of Ezra and Nehemia. Yeah. Um, in in the Har Is there? There's a remnant of a wall of Ezra and Nehemia. Well, the the wall of the the original walls of Har Bais that's all that would be this wall right here. I'm talking about from Bais Rishon. Bais Shani also. I mean Bais Rishon yeah. also. Bais Shani for sure. Hashmonai wall you can actually see over here a little bit. Um, I have a picture of it that after the presentation I'll happily pull up to show you. You can actually see on, when you're standing over here in the cemetery, you're actually able to see. Normally if you have a wall and you continue the wall, it's built like that, right? A stone on top of stone. But when you have a corner, it will be like this. You can actually see the, 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 a seam of the wall between here and here. Line, so line, 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 line up so exactly. Those, those walls could be also used to locate space, especially as mm -hmm. a wall, yeah. which is in the area of... Well, the wall is still there, like I mentioned. Unless I'm not understanding your question, I think I, it's pretty I, I clear. I think there's another wall, which is Ezra and Nehemiah's wall. There's a small piece that's still standing. Okay. You mean the Yerushalayim? Might be the one that the city in Yerushalayim in the middle of the Rova. Might be the one that I could be there. Higher bias. This wall has been here since, according to most archaeologists, at least from bias research. Yes. Is it a building? Is it a courtyard? No, it's open. You can actually see it's just basically plain, plain space. It's open space. Open space. This route that we ta that you see over here that is taken, is go it goes out of its way to avoid that area too. Um, this little area over here on the bottom is where there are daily minyanim for both shakras and minchum. And over here that? would Could be... Right by here? Okay. Yeah. This area right over here, right opposite the entrance, right. what would be the entrance of the Beis HaMikdash is where there's daily minyanim for shakras and minchum today. By the white line? Right over here, this line over here. Wow. Let me... Uh, yeah. Let me yeah. point it out with the yeah. right over here would be the would be the would be the the shul as they call it, and over here is a base a base mesh where they and the make sure to say it. and the arrow coming having a fit from this. Oh, they know. Fit about everything. Why not? I don't know if they know about it, <laughs> or they have a chance. Uh, they don't have a say in the matter. Okay. They usually have fights on Friday when Jews are not on our base. Um, <laughs> Well, as you see, the only reason why this area goes over here is because it's physically impossible to walk over here because of Shara Achim is there. Mm -hmm. so they go out this way, and they go up to the Ramah over here, but not on it. Also over here, they go up to the Ramah, but not on it. And like I mentioned, the Rabbanim who hold that it's mutter, mm -hmm. set up this route specifically, and the police enforce it, that if a person were to go on this route and would try to leave this route, would not be allowed to move off it. Please very much enforce the words of the Rabbanim that hold that it's mutter to God. Yes. Okay. Um, the temple's supposed to face where the sun rises? Yes. Okay. Wait, it got kicked off there. Yeah, I, I see. The, I'm not sure why. The temple, the entrance of the temple is where that little, the shoal, that place that you were just talking about was, right? That, that's where the, en the entrance of the temple used to be? Not sure. Right there. Oh, well. <laughs> Entrance would have been over here. Okay, if you're following the entrance that way, you're yeah. facing west. No, you're not. You're facing you're the facing western wall. Right over there. there. East. The western wall. When you stand the western wall, what you're direction facing you're facing? East. Yes, that's right. But if the entrance is down there, if the entrance, entrance to the temple was over here. That means the sun would need to rise up this way and go into this door, which it does. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So then, what's that that area down there? I thought that was where that's this? where the entrance. Was. Yes. Well, that, that's where you, you would enter. There was a lower courtyard we'll called the Ezus Nashim, the place with the, the woman's courtyard. You would enter into the higher base. Uh, if you were going in the eastern, well, the eastern gate, you would enter in over here. Shai Shushim, that's over here. You would enter in here, go in to these, into the woman courtyard. Why are they avoiding the Shai Wait, but that's why the Shai Rachman is physically impossible to walk. It's so it's Yeah. So that's not actually the entrance, yeah. though. That's is that one working? The yeah, screen the screen working? other way. Also not. Try 
singing Nala 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 Vesa Migdash. They come up this, uh, this, this bridge over here and they enter in over there, walk along the white line to the route until this point over here where they stop and they dive in and, uh, and then they continue around. Yes? Uh, if you will allow me, Maisa uh, Shehoya, mm -hmm. I have the schluss of living, living in Eretz Yisrael and Yerushalayim mm -hmm. and from my Marpeset I have a direct view of our bias, uh, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Amazing. About a year ago, mm -hmm. now, on Shabbos, a rainy, cloudy day, mm -hmm. there was a break in the clouds all of a sudden about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Shabbos, and there was a keshes, mm -hmm. a rainbow, that it went across the entire expanse of the of Yerushalayim. The end of the rainbow mm -hmm. was directly, not left, not right, mm -hmm. directly on the Kippa Zahav. Wow. And rather than my own interpretation, I'll make it quick. I went to Rabbi Mendel Kessen, mm -hmm. who is a tremendous Talmud Chacham. He specializes in uh, events in Mos HaMashiach. I went to him a couple mm -hmm. of weeks later, and he instantly said, Marvin, it means, as we know, the Keshes means the destruction of the Mabel. He said this means the destruction of the mosque. Amazing. Amen. Amen. And of course, that not a mosque. Only. Okay. Now, why on the southern side they walk on the Harbaiz, but the other side they walk Why do they walk here? Again, there's no reason to not walk no, there. Take no, but why on the other side now? Because right. practically there's no yeah. path there. There's no path. Yes. <clears throat> we are here on this side. On the southern side? Yeah. There are steps over here and over here from Shari Holdup coming in from this entrance here. Mm. Actually, there's a tunnel on the ground over the, under the mosque and it comes out right over here and right over here. How long is it taking the, the walk? The, the walk takes around, depending if they're in a rush or not, but it could take as short as 15 minutes and it usually takes about 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. So yes. the, the route that they're going, is it the Machina Levi or Machina Israel? Well, they're starting off, depending if you hold the, for this extension is Machina Machina Levi. Let's assume for now it is. So they're walking completely only in Machina Levi. Over here. Anything in the yellow is Machina Levi. So anything that they're walking is Machina Levi, as long as they avoid the red, which is Machina Shkina. Yes? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Early you it said the, the Ma, mm -hmm. it was originally built as a shul. Yes, this building here. It was used as a shul, but it's not come on. So it's unclear. I don't understand this. It's unclear. We know for sure that there was another building called Midrash Shmuel, Midrash Shlem, I'm sorry, on Harabayas. That was used as a shul. The question is if the Dome of the Rock was also used as a shul or not. It seems to be mashed from a Pesach and Yerangifer that it was. How could it be? Then how could they get there? As we, as we mentioned before, that the Meiri, as we quoted before, Meiri held that, that, that they, they held like the Ravid, which was that a Talmudist would be allowed to go into that. But we don't pass in that way today. When you can hold the bus, can you have to go on the mikvah before or only the that? But then, I mean, assuming if you hold that the entire harabais is the status of machin then you have to go to the mikvah. Doesn't matter, man, woman, carry, nika, has to be. But that's not sure. Right? What? But that's not sure. Well, if you hold that the area outside the what basically before this extended is ma status machin so then you technically do not need to go to the mikvah. I wouldn't right recommend. Here, and the only, yeah, <laughs> the only, the, the route is only in the order of extension. No, the route is also outside the Rabbis' extension. So in order for a person to go to Harabayas today, unless he does what they do, what's called the Katsar, where they would walk from here over the Kaisal Amarabi and then out this door, there, according to those places we hold that doesn't have the status of Machin and Levi, it would not require a mikvah. But, um, I, I, but I don't want anybody to walk out of here seeing the thinking that that's what we have. We do not. But the mikvah has to be uh, like a, a kosher mikvah, yes, 100%. Yes, One of the great things that the Rabbinity should be said, has done and said that the... Uh, one second, one second, I want to hear a question. If, uh, one of the great things that the Rabbanon Rishi Yisrael has done is institute that any mikvah in Yerushalayim has to be on a direct status. 
they do this for Bez Hashem, the coming of Mashiach, on the Golgas of English, everybody's going to need to go to Mikvah to have a. Uh, has to be on a Dairisa status. A lot of Mikvahs in America for men are not because they just need to be my children. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Except for the fact that the measure says clearly, and some say clearly, that the Shechina never leaves the place. The only difference is whether or not the status of Kurdish, uh, of Machin Shechina retains its Machin Shechina status. For sure, the, the Shechina is there. It's possible. The measure says that it never leaves from the place, as we said earlier. And it's always the 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 the, the Mokhmet field. When we dive today, we face towards Mokhmet Mamikdash because that's the place for Tfilas to go. Ideally, if we could go to Arabais, we should go to Arabais. And the question is, can we go? So those who say yes, this is their this is the way they do. So as we see that those who hold yes have a very pretty a very solid basis in halacha to do so. What is the meaning of the Which part? Right outside the bridge. Right? Because they, it, once you're on the once you're on the on the elevated platform, it's very easy for a person to inadvertently walk right in. There's no there's no signs, there's no fence. A person would go onto the elevated platform if he's not careful, all of a sudden finds himself a machinishina, curries. So therefore they set up very clear gather. It's it's easy to not who are the Rabbanim? Who set it up? A lot of the different Rabbanim. Shalom Goran originally set, set up that level of uh Rabbiasid Rosen uh Rabbiasid Elbim, um or the Leo Lever. This is in our bottom that are that are very even tough elephants. Well, why don't know who says it? Oh, we're gonna get to why why not? Uh, I'm trying to be as impartial. I'm first presenting this side, and then we'll go to the other side as well. Anybody else have any questions before we move on? When you stand on the hard lights and you see the, like a door frame. Yes, that? that's this door over here. That's Shara Rachman. Shara over there. Yeah, on this side. Hard Zaysan would be down here, and you'd be looking out. The, the door that you would see is this closed door called Shara Rachman. According to the meeting, you don't have to even supposed to make the there, right? That's correct. Um, but as I mentioned very clearly, the Mogan Avram and Mishabura said very clearly, Allah like the Ram. Yes, as we mentioned before, and all the Mikvahs in Yerushalayim are Dairas. Yes, yes. that, that used to be. About, about the, it changed in about, not two weeks ago. If a person does a Shachavay, they arrest them. If they, if they dive in, they're like, as, as I know, what? person does a Shachavay. What time is it? Yes, you need to go up with not wearing non love issues. You have to follow a person who would who holds that's allowed to go. Obviously, has to uh, the, the Mitzvah which is the Raman clearly delineates what the Salah is. You can spit on the You have to go on with non love issues. Non love Okay? Yes, okay. Let's continue on. We'll take more questions afterwards. Here's a quick video showing. Showing a little bit about what the walk looks like. This is on the on the on the uh, southern side. They walk on the path now. It's the girl walking. Walk. Is walking uh, walking on the on the southern side pants. Now this is on the eastern side already. Walking alongside the eastern wall. This is the area where they daven. At this point, they were not minyanim yet, but you still see two people davening in mincha. Where are they the minyanim? Right over here. This would be facing the entrance into into the. This is the white place. This is Shara Akhman before it was turned into a mosque. This is turning from the eastern side to the northern side. Is this music always playing? No. Okay. Oh, okay. This is walking up up until the Ramah. That would be the entrance onto the Ramah. And the, the police officers do not allow anybody to go on. The Malkam is there to be right around here. This is on the western side. Do people come and still do hospital uh, hospital? If you want to be arrested. <laughs> but they can't arrest me over there. What? But they won't let you... Uh, they do not allow Shachavai on the hire to, non, to non-Muslims. These are the steps leading up to the Ramah. And this is the right out, right opposite the exit to the Ramah. So, so above the these path? steps, no one goes up, right? Right. You we're showed now the, the path? The white that was path. the path. That was following so different parts of the path. So the path. Yeah. As long as you don't go up that Ramah, you have no problem. That up that level, the that higher level. Path. The, white path, the white path does not go onto the, the elevated platform. It avoids it. Okay? So now, so far what we've seen seems very clear cut that it's mutter to go to higher path. Mm-hmm. And the question is, then why is it so prevalent in every one of us growing up, knowing up until a few minutes ago, 
and it's also with the Nisar What's going on here? When, does it, when did this concept of also to go to Harbais, when did it come into Kali so? It seems that if you take a poll of all people in Kali so asking them, is a mutter or also, I would venture to say that at least 90% of hold is also. We'll tell you it's also, and that's the way they grew up. So what, if the sugi seems to lend itself to be so clear cut, why do we know it's also? So let's take a look. Here is a, a, a timeline of the big, uh, of Harabayis after the Chorba. Um, on the left, on the left you see uh, Chorba Yashini, which is happening around 70 CE. You have the Bakrif revolt in around the year 15, uh, 135 to 137, where Kaisal returned to Harabayis and start, uh, definitely brought Karbanus, but uh, started building this something English. Um, the Gemara in Makis is referring to around the year 130, which you saw, which says that Rabbi Kiva and, Rabbi, uh, and the Chachamim went up to the Harabais, they saw Shul Halkum, uh, base, uh, you know, Shul Halkum coming out of the base, uh, the base Kedush HaKadoshim. And around the year 362, they started rebuilding base of English under the Julius Caesar. The Gemara with Rabbi Yechon is around the year 430, approximately. The Dome of the Rock construction happened in 687. Oh, the second time. Um, 687 to 691. Around 632, the, the Umayyads took over the Harabais. They were predisposed to the, to the Jews, and they allowed the Jews a lot of freedoms there. Until that point, it was Byzantine and Roman, which were not fans of these. Okay, so I, I, to the whole... I just make one point. Yes. It's, it's, I don't think it's Julius Caesar. It's, you mean Julian the Apostate. The Apostate. Yeah. Yeah, the Apostate. Yeah. But it says Julius Caesar. Okay. Was I'll, I'll, way before. Thank you. I'll correct it. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Um... Rabbi Romer Rochi Anasi reports that throughout the Tukufas Hagalinim, Kali Yisrael was davening on Harabais, right? During the Umayyad Tukufas. During the, the Tukufas Rishonim, the Crusaders take over and uh, hold the Harabais until the Mamluk period, which is around the beginning of the 1200s. We have the Rabbi Romer Rochi Anasi talking about it around 1099. It's stopping. The Ramam going up in 1166. The Rimel Anil, as I mentioned, went up in 1210. The Meiri writes in 1282 that people were going inside. <coughs> we have a rabbi in the Mibar Tenura, and right around the, tukufus, the end of the Tukufus of Rishayim. We have the Radvaz at the end of the Tukufus of Rishayim writing uh, the Halacha. We have the Marit. And for the Tukufa of the Ottoman period, which is basically from the, the, the early, uh, around 1546, till about 19, till, till World War I, till about 1918. The Beis Hamikdash, the Shahar Bais, was under the, the rule of the Ottomans, and the Ottomans did not allow the Jews to go up to Shahar Bais. The minig then became the people down on the Shahar Mizrah, and after the Ottomans outlawed that, they moved to the Shahar, uh, they moved to the Kaisal Amarabi, where we currently daven. During that period of time, there was a break when people going up to Shahar Bais. As a matter of fact, it was not even a conversation because it just wasn't okay for the, that amount of time. Um, until we see that at the end of the Ottoman period, certain dignitaries were allowed on, such as Moses Montefiore in 1867. We have the, as I broke before, Shmuel Horowitz in 1921. And then in 1967, Kali Yisrael, and Kali returns uh, to the hands of the Kali Yisrael. Okay, so then during that window of time when a lot of people were not going to Harabais, a lot of Halakas were just not taught, there just wasn't no gay. We have the writings of the of Chaim of Handri and Derek HaKadosh. Uh, he writes, to see openly that there is there are there are poskim that are writing this was not Nikea. We also have we also have the the writing of of the Mishkan Islam Yaakov, he writes, the Imam Kopanim Hayu Nichnosim Afsha Laharabayas, the Mok Mishamoto Likonis. Quoting the Lash and the Rambam. Very clearly that the Goyim did not allow them. Now, as I mentioned, at the end of the Ottoman Empire, there were the it started allowing they started allowing certain dignitaries to come and then eventually opened it up for the for the Hamoyin Am during the Kufa of the British. Um, a lot of people were not knowledgeable about Malachas, which is why Rav Cook made a big, uh, big call kare, writing that it's also under all circumstances to go to Harabais, because people were going to Harabais and they were walking even into Machanish Kuna, they were going up onto the elevated platform and walking around the tremendous zils of Makam Amigdash. And therefore he writes that, uh, that it was also under all circumstances to go to Harabais. 
Because actually his grandson wrote that his, his, his grandfather never meant it to be Osir as a Gezerah. He was just writing for all those who are not knowledgeable, should not go in, but that's what was written. And that was why you have all the Kalkaris. Again, uh, in 1967, we know also that people were going into the Harabayas on their way to find the Kaisal. There's a book from a certain well-known Rav um, who was in Eretz Yisrael at the time. I'm not going to mention his name for fear of saying Lashon Haro, but he writes, he writes in there that he, got, that he got a special press pass to go with the, with the conquering armies to go there, and they entered into the old city through Shahrayas, and they walked on a large platform past the Golden Mosque of Omar, through a door, down a few steps, and there was the Kaisal Amaravi. <laughs> I mentioned to his son that I thought that he walked on Harabai. He says, yeah, don't tell anybody. Um, but that was the way to get there. Until they opened up Shah Ashvot, that's the way people walked. And people were walking there. My, grand, my grandmother, who, who was not so from at the time, um, in 1967, she was living in Tel Aviv, and after the Six Day War, she, she has a picture of herself inside the Dome of the Rock. Obviously, she's not from. It was, uh, you know, there was a zizzle. I know a lot of people, a lot of people who told, who told me that when either they weren't from or they know people that walked into that area and it was becoming a zizzle. Says Ravad Yosef, which we all know based on the Messiah. They were going into those areas. Just have it speak on this picture. You can see the police are not allowing you to go into those areas. But um, at the time, people were going into Israeli, those areas. Israeli the Israeli police, yes. Um, so, happens to me that most of uh, most of the police officers on the on higher base are Jews. They're not. They're not. They're not Yiddin. And they do go in, right? They go in for for bitachon purposes, for security purposes. <laughs> so we see that the the fact is that a lot of the rabbanim wrote, especially in 1967, wrote tshuva after tshuva, saying that it's also to go to higher they were also concerned about Lifnei Eber. Even if you were to go Ka'alacha, the other people might go Shalik Ka'alacha. Those who say it's Motor argue that we, that we, don't, uh, we don't stop a mitzvah, like the Taz says in Hilfus Rosh Hashanah, that we don't, we're not Mavatal mitzvah just because others are going to do it Shalik Ka'alacha. We see Rabbi Yash's Shuvah and the Lino Shabbat about making Hafkanot on Shabbos, that we might call the police to be Mechal Shabbos. But those that say it's also say, Lifnei Eber, you're going to, even if you're doing it Ka'alacha, other people will do it Shalik Ka'alacha. The other reasons that they basically say that they're, they're a royal of the Goyim to, to, to do terrorist attacks. Those that say it's motor answer back that very nice, but uh, if you wouldn't be in higher bias, then they'll be and then they'll then they'll take away the coastal. If not the coastal, then they'll take your shalim. Your shalim will take away all of it. So that's so will take away Brooklyn and Muncie, unfortunately. So it, the, it, we we are, our enemies are far and wide. Again, these are there are posts come on either side of this debate, and as I mentioned at the beginning, but I'll mention it again. I'm not here to paskin. I'm not here to convince. Everybody should. Everybody has a rabbanim and rabbeim, and they're, they should ask the shayla to their appropriate meiri herov. Those that say at, at this point, we basically got it clear that there is. It seems very clearly from the sugya that it would be motor to go to harabais, knowing exactly where the makom karis is. Therefore, as one would prepare himself properly by going to a mikvah, not wearing leather shoes, not uh, not uh, not going on with a money bag or a walking stick or any of the other halachas that the Raman writes would technically be allowed to go up the sugya, and there are a bunch more answer because of the fact is that other people might learn and go in. And definitely the Metzius was in 67, that people were going in. Today, whether the Metzius is that way is debatable, um, as, we, as we've seen. Those, yeah. Yeah, who is Mata today? You say there is there answer. There are many who, of them. Tell me, tell me, uh, tell me two or three names that are Come at the big share. A lot of them don't like to have their names said in public. There are, there are a bunch of who have signed on the Isser, personally, I know I've discussed this with, that have signed on the Isser, their name is on the call carrier, that's also to go, who have told me in confidence that if a person knows the Sugyan, it's because the Lama Ratzim. This is a, this is a, common, a common thing in Yiddishkeit. We know this from the Gemaras, we know this from the Rishayim. Chazal sometimes set up Gidarm, we think completely modern, in order to save the rest of the, the people who are not as knowledgeable from Isser. And therefore, you all got to come to the video. That's a great question. That's why you should ask your own, whether you should or shouldn't. There are those that say that it's motor to go, say very clearly, they bring a bunch of reasons why yes. For example, one of the reasons they, they bring are, we're going to go through, they, there are mitzvahs that can be makayim and harabayas today, and uh, we'll, we'll take it a little further from there, but... Is there anybody in the shares that vehemently opposed? There are no lies. Okay. 
Baruch Hashem, I've gotten things thrown at me before. <laughs> you bring Lulav and Esmer here, no? <laughs> you bring Lulav and Esmer here? Unfortunately, currently you cannot. You cannot bring Tefillin there. You cannot bring Talis in there. Very good question. They have them without Tefillin. Just as a person doesn't have Tefillin, they have Tefillin. As we're going to see, the Ramam holds the Ikram. As I just about to say, the Ramam holds that the Ikram principle of Tefillin is on Harabais. As such, if you have a choice to have it on Harabais without them or off Harabais with them, you have a Shiloh with Darais. Let's go through, let's continue off the last few things and I'll answer all your questions. Hopefully they'll be answered. What are the mitzvahs that can be Mekayim? What are the mitzvahs that can be Mekayim by going to our bias? Those who say it's Moter say there are mitzvahs that can be Mekayim. What are the mitzvahs? Well, the first one that we'll discuss is mitzvah of Meir Mekdash. Obviously, one cannot be Mekayim Meir Mekdash by staying over our bias. Just as one cannot be Mekayim the mitzvah of Kiro of Aim by avoiding their parents. Pasuk says the Shabbosay said the Shmeiru Mikdash Yiro says the Rambam Mitzvah Sase Lira Mina Mikdash. How do you do it? Veizuhi Yiro say what is this? What is the sphere of the Mikdash? La Yikonis Adam LaHarabais. The Makali doesn't go into Harabais with his walking stick. Oy Beminal Shabraglav or with shoes on his feet. Oy Ben Pandre Oy Bavik Shal Raglav or dust on his feet. Oy Bemois Hatsurus Le Besadino with a lot of money sticking in his wallet. Vein Sarf Leimer Shal Ose Lerek B'Chol Harabais. Also, to spit on any of the places of our bias, Ellen Mizamle, Rak, and Blea Vixisa, you can spit into a tissue and put it in your pocket. It's not to be a place that a person comes in one place and uses as a shortcut to go out. Walk around it from outside. Only go in there for the After a person walks out of the base of English, walking backwards, like we're going to do with a castle. All this is in order to fear the mikdash. That's how one will be mekayim this mitzvah. Not yes. Another mitzvah that we can be mekayim on Harabai is how did he get away? This is a funny story. Uh, about two years ago, I think it was, there was a terrorist attack on Harabai, which happened on Friday. Two Arabs shot two Jewish policemen, and then in response, Israeli government put in metal detectors for all the Arabs to walk in. Until, this point, until that point, they didn't have to go to the metal detectors, it security guy on our bikes. And the Arabs made a big protest. The walkman said, that's it, we're not going on our bikes until you remove the metal detectors. And they all bound outside in the streets. <laughs> During that day, the Yidden that went up, well, the walkman wasn't there. So they went to town. <laughs> um, the Rambam writes, the mitzvah chamishis, the fifth mitzvah, he should see vonu la avoid the yisala. The kara nechval zil at zibur pamayim ba omer ba avatim es hashem lekechem omer ba isis avoidu when mishnasi shal ba lez benoish or gyer si aglili omer minayin leikert filu mitzvah. How do we know that filu is a mitzvah? Mehocho es hashem lekechem tiro ba isis avoid ba omer avido ba tirosay ba avido ba mikdashay kolaymar ba leches shom lehispalo boy venegdoik my shabir shalem ala hashem. Therefore, this would be. Can you translate what you said, please? Yes. The, the, the mitzvah to Davin, say, serve him with your Torah, serve him in his mikdash, meaning, go there and Davin there, just as Shalim HaMelech wrote in his tefillah when they built the base on mikdash, that the Iker place of tefillah is on Harabais. And that would be the place, obviously, if we had the mikdash, that would be better than the mikdash, but yeah, Harabais is called mikdash in many places. Yeah. Would the mitzvah extend to the Kotel as well? I don't know. I don't think so. Because it's not, it's as close as you can get. So if you hold it, you can't go on, the coastal will be better than davening here, I guess. Um, I mean, there's clear Kedusha on the Kotel. Really? Yes. Here. Okay. My brother, I'll, I'll quote Rabbi uh, Radinsky. Mm -hmm. You go to the Kotel, you shouldn't touch it. You should just go over to it close and cut mm -hmm. your hands because, quote, there's Kedusha. Okay. If you say so. Who built the coast? I didn't. Who built the coast? Who built the coast? As we saw clearly through our through our presentation as far, the, we know exactly where things are laid out on the uh, on the harbais. The assumption that the coastal is holy is based on the assumption that we don't know where things are. Maybe the coastal is the coastal of the base of English. But as I demonstrated to you quite clearly today, it is not the coastal of the base of English. It is the coastal of the Azar. According to most Paiskim, I'm not I'm sorry of the Azar. It's coastal harbais. The fourth is extension harbais. And according to, as mentioned here, multiple times, most of the Pesim hold that the addition of Hordus does not have the Kedusha of Harabais, of Machin Elavia. That means the Kaisal is just as Kaddish as anywhere else in Yerushalayim. Um, assuming these Pesim are correct, there are those who hold that Hordus extension was. 
The biggest question on those who hold that Hordes' extension was included in Machan Aliyah is the fact that Mishnayis Midas, which is written about 100 years after Hordes extended the Harabais, quotes the Kedusha of Harabais as Chamesh Meisama, Chamesh Meisama, 500 hours by 500 hours. Why didn't it say the additional part? That's why those who shine hold that Hordes' extension is, does not have the status of Machan Aliyah. However, there are Pesachim hold, yes, and therefore you should definitely treat the Kosa with reverence. It's been a Machan Tila for many, for many years, if not a few hundred years. But uh, to say that it has the status of the Mekayim of this mitzvah is questionable. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it. The third mitzvah that won't be Mekayim by going to base on the higher bias today is the mitzvah of the Shet Mesedishu. It says the Pasuk, Ki im el ha-mokim ashe yivkar Hashem alekechem yikol shivtechem lo-sum eshe mo-isham l'shech mesedishu u-vosu shama. Seek out my shechino and go there. It says the Ramban, V'tam l'shech mesedishu shetel chuloim. May Eretz Merachim, you go there from faraway places, and Tishalu, on the day of Beis Hashem. Where is the way to Beis Hashem? But Taimer Isha Re'elu, Lechu Vinale, El Har Hashem. Let's go up together to the Har Hashem, El Beis Alekei Yaakov. Kaloshin Tzin Ishalu Derech Hinei Pneim. And the way it would be, the whole tachlis of the mitzvah, of the Shekhmei Siddishu, is the mitzvah in order to go there to eventually build the Beis Hamidosh. Meaning, we're not just looking out for the Mok of English, where is it? Our, the mitzvah would be to go there in order so that we will eventually will go to Beis English. Which brings us to the next point that the people that say that it's motto to go to Harabais, um, they try to point out, is that yes, we all dream and daven and pray that our Kodesh Baruch will send Mashiach and that the Beis English will fall down to Shemayim and, be, and we'll all go to Simcha on Kampi Nishar and to Eretz HaKodesh and be able to, to do that in Beis English. However, there is a mitzvah, even if that were to be true, and we hope in daven it still will be, there's still a mitzvah of Deiraisa to build Beis Hamidosh, as it says in the pasuk. The also the Mikdash v'Shachanti v'Seichem. Says the Gemara in Yerushalmi. Not only do we have a mitzvah to build Beis Hamidosh, but Beis Hamidosh will be built before the coming of Mashiach. Says the Gemara in Yerushalmi, Maaseh Sheni Perakei Alach Beis. Amar Rav Yacha Zoy Simeres She Beis Hamidosh Os Li Bonis Chaydim Lamachos Beis Talad. Beis Hamidosh will come to be built before. The base, uh, the base, the the base stuff comes into play. They don't say it does. It's going to come from heaven already. That's what he said. Even if it would come for it, we still have a mitzvah to build it. But the and, mitzvah is going to come ready. The Rambam says it. The Rambam, of course, the Rambam says it. But I'm just bringing down the curse. I understand that Rashi says such a thing, and we daven hope that he will be correct. I, I want it to come. I want to come today. But what? No, the Bali says the same thing. Rabbi Megillah says the same thing. The reason why we structure our tefillahs in this very specific way is we talk about the building based on English before Mashiach because it goes in that order. Right. No, we say it's semach after Ubnei Yishalayim. Where it comes down and what it needs to be. Well, the, the Bavli brings a Gemara in Sukkah that mentions that the base of English will be built very quickly. Um, and it's a Shabbos, so it can't be that we just build Beisam English. Rashi explains from a Medrash that potentially the Beisam English can fall down from a Shemayim. This is disregarding the fact that Rashi in Vayichi and in Yecheskel says that we're going to build the Biyadenu. Um, also, the fact is that most Rishayim hold that we have to build the Biyadenu, and the Gemara says that. So, we hope that the Medrash is correct and it will come down. But let's also not forget the that... Logic, the logic here, here. is, Rashi, that the Arabs, uh, only the Mashiach is taking Marshall. Maybe. Take the Marshall. Only the Mashiach. Yeah. So, the so, as we know, democracies work that we go with the will of 80% of the people and we hang the other 20. So, um, the, logic, the, logic if, if, the logic is, you'll have a few weeks to build before Mashiach. Maybe. Maybe. The, mice, the reason we're bringing this down is very important. Those who, go, those who say that it's an Indian to go to Harabais and that it's motor to go to Harabais are clearly saying that the number one ingredient to build based on Mikdash is that we go there. In order for us to get any sort of freedoms there, we would have to go there. Again, this is their argument that they're saying that if you hold it as much to go, this would be a rationalization for going there. This would be a political move in order yeah, to go okay. there. The yeah. Shalah says, I sh- let me finish this up and we'll take all questions. The Shalah says, I'm told this to all the tremendous things that are going to happen after the are not going to be when the gula comes. Rather, it's going to be before. We have to say that we're going to build with some English. Mashiach has not yet arrived. This has turned it turned into a very famous song. Thank you, Mordechai and David and Yossi Green. 
When Michelle of Mashiach comes, Oimid al Gag Beis Hamikdash. He's standing on the roof of Beis Hamikdash. Vuhu Mashmiya lehem liyisrael v'leimer, and he stands and he talks out the Kaiso and makes himself heard, and he says, "I know them." Humble ones. He gives man gulaschem. The time of the gula has arrived. Then ain't atem aminim. And if you don't believe me, ruuga oiri shesarech alechem. See that my light is shining out. Shenem rakumi oiri kibal erech uchvay nashem alayek zarv. Now I ask you, obviously not to bring a lot of rice from Medrashim, but the Medrash seems to be mashma that there's a base of understanding adult. In, in, in Yerushalayim, we're all sitting here in Monsi or wherever we are, and we're not going to be some English, and, this, and Mashiach comes, and he stands on our bias and he yells out, Rav Oisai! He gives man geula. Now, if the base of English is talking from Shemayim, do we need Mashiach to come and tell us that the time of is? We saw it come down. We don't have to say, what do you mean, v'meen at time what, what are you not being believing on? Alamai, if we can be medayik in this measure, should we say that the base of English is standing, and Karbonis is going on, and there are those who say, uh, it's not a kosher base. Maybe it's not built with the sheer chazanish on or something. You know, uh, whatever. It, uh, it's also got higher bias. It's uh, you know the, the, the people that bring carbonis. I mean, mezalzel and Hakadosh Baruch Hu. And Mashiach comes as a base. And he is not going to ask them. Or even if we come down to Shemayim, you can still hear people say Tyre Lema Shemayim. I mean, we're going to find excuses for everything we want. Bottom line is, is that if this is this, it seems very clear. Based on the Yushalmi, based on the based on the Gemara and Yushalmi and the Babli, that at least we have to build based on English. Says the Menchas Chenoch, the Gamayoyim, Efshe Shem Yitnu Amalchi Yisrashos Libonis based on English, Mitzvah Lumna is to be a requirement to build the Kimivur of a Medrash be made Rabbi Shua ben Chananya, the Nosen Rishos be Eschil Libonis nice, they gave him Rishos and they started to build it. Ba'im be Sefer Kabbis Tamarim, Sharbeni Yichil Ba'al Tesis Rotz Alelech Lahakar Karbonis be Yerushalayim that. The the Balitesis wanted to come bring Karbonis in Yerushalayim. We came who had then lived in this base on English. Regarding Karbonis, even if we can't build base on English, another rationale for going to Harabayas today is to at least put ourselves in a position to bring Karbonis. As we know, the Rambam says, Makriven ha Karbonis, Kulon, Afo Pisha, Ain, Sham, Bayas, Boni. Even if the base of English is not yet built, we have a Chiyav to build to bring Karbonis. Kachukon, Falazar, etc. Says Rabbi Yashiv, when asked about bringing carbon pesach, he responded, "Ki be'emes al pi alafon, efshelim say tshuva pesach nechol shein la binyan akavas carbon pesach." We can find an answer to every question that is asked regarding all the reasons that say we can't bring carbon pesach. With my name, we have an answer. Heim ben agel abir mokam amaduyek shalom mizbeach, knowing exactly the mokam amaduyek on this beach is. Veheim ben mitzias kahenech hazak mufakim, knowing exactly who are kosher kahenim in order to do that boyda. Preparing the big dekuna according to all shittas. We said it's a very good thing to look into this. It has an ish said this as well. Um, we know the famous Shulam of Sam Sefer who writes about bringing carbonus. Uh, the Rabbi Shem and Rabbi are all of the opinion that were we be able to bring carbonus with manazeh, we would be have a chiyuv to do so. Why so, didn't they? Why well, didn't they? Right now, it's, right now, it's a great question. Right now, if we go up to Rosh Hashanah and we say. Koder Bibi, we would like to build a bring carbonus. So say no problem. Go ahead, build them as back in Crystal Plaza, and invite me when you have all the uh, when you have Malchus Cryer and um, whatever singer is singing over there by the by the thing. Invite me, I'll come. So I say no, no, no. We have to do it on Harbais. Harbais, Harbais is a Muslimi. It's a Muslim place. But we just said we can go to Harbais in the main the red machne. Well, for in order to bring carbonus, you would be allowed to go there because Tumah is such a bit secret. If you're bringing carbon seed, you would not be allowed to go there. Mm-hmm. The Rama says that clearly, but that's a great question. Point is that if we were going to, to Rosh Hashanah and say we want to do it, they'll say, what, do you, what, what sheikhs do you have to hire bias? It's not your place. It says they view Yidin davening in, 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 on hire bias as if a group of Yidin walked into a church and daven in Mincha there. My Kesher, what's it to you? You don't have, it's not your place. You don't have any, you don't have any business here. That's how they view Harbais. Now, what are we going to answer them? What are we going to say to them? Oh, no, Harbais is really, uh, it's, it's so Kaddish, it's so Kaddish that we don't even go there. Are there Ma'afganot every day standing outside Harbais that Arabs shouldn't go there? Are we Meicha about the, the, the tremendous Chal Hashem that goes on in Harbais with all the tourists, every Christian tourist that wants to walk in there without going, without preparing themselves or walking on with shoes going to the Makam Azar, which is clearly also for them to go? Are we, do we care? If we don't care, so then we don't have a taina on the government when they say we can't do things there. But if we actually care, and we want to show that we care, Kabbalah to go. Obviously, I'm not, as I mentioned before, I'm not Paskani, I'm not telling you what yes to do, what you shouldn't do, what you should do. You have Rabbanim, we have Rabbanim. But it seems clear that the case to be made for those that do go is a very solid place in Allah. So for Goyim, it's Asr to go as well? This is yes. only for Yidin. It's also for everybody to go on to the Makam of Azar today. <coughs> if, 
you hold like the, the Ramakli that from Dasai, the old things that, that Mishnah. Huh? The Rambam that you brought down of us learning the Ramakli from Dasai, Baba Karan. Yes. That was the so Antara awesome. Bikes regularly, not on. And, and that, that was, was also for Don Jesus as well. Yes. We have, we have still, the, still the thing in Istanbul from uh, that, 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 that Yes. Was for a goy. We still hear the goy are about to, to go in. We can afford it there. Everyone is going in. It will be killed. It wasn't time of the second lesson week. We have still the stone. Is the stone. It's actually written in Greek that says non Jews that go past this point uh, are uh, take the risk of losing their head. Um, the regal is not a mitzvah. Uh, the regal is a mitzvah, as we saw very clearly from the Medrash that they were not. They were not about the other regal. It was more mitzvah. There are definitely more mitzvahs. There's actually most of the mitzvahs in the entire mitzvahs are not negated because we don't have some English. If we would start going to our bias, there's a list of 15 that the Ramam has. Um, if, we bring, if we build a mitzvah, we'd have another 60, 70 mitzvahs. And we build a mitzvah, we'd have another few hundred. So right now, when do we want? Do we really want all 630 mitzvahs to be negated? If yes, then this is a way. This is a potential way to, to bring it again. We have our bottom, we have Gidel, we have the Shailas, but... Uh, so what are the Gidar we have to put on the Goyim in order for them to be able to go on? They would have to, they don't, they would not need to go to a mikvah, but they would have to go up without leather shoes, and they would have to be able to go to places that they, that they're not allowed. I would like to wish, I would like to say thank you to all of you for coming. I really appreciate your time, and again, thank you to our Lady Shiner and Bill Lady for arranging this, and um, I'm ready to answer any questions if anybody has them.